through some Kanger T3s. I keep seeing more and more of those. I'm going to have to try those out. Are you vaping on one right now, Tammy? Okay, I've got my, my mail on right now. I'm going to do a quick lag clear because I did have the hangout running. So one sec back. You got yuck juice from Juicy Vapor. What kind was it? All right, now, this is what I got in the mail today. I was very excited because I haven't bought any of these in a long time, and it fits my profession. So here it is. This is my awesome mail today. I got two of these. They're my surgical hats. I got one with dolphins on it. I don't know if you can see them. There's like fishies at it. But this is this is what I wear at work. <laughs> so I was excited to get this in the mail today. <laughs> Not your normal vape mail kind of stuff, but it was exciting for me. I didn't get any other vape mail today, per se, but all right, look, I gotta take it off. <laughs> Let me switch the camera real quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wear every day at work. So I was excited to get a couple of those to go to work in. <laughs> there we go. And we are back. I hope it fits me. I wear those every day. But mine were getting really stretched out and the elastic was bad. I hadn't bought a hat in like six years. Can you believe it? So I did. I got two new hats for surgery. I got this one, which I kind of like. And I got blues because our scrub colors are this dark blue. So I got the fishies and that one. <laughs> no, I'm not getting naked, but I don't want my hair flying everywhere when I flop it off. I didn't want you to see that. <laughs> Watching a movie. Nice, Jamie. <laughs> but I did get some bait mail. Uh, yesterday when I got home from work, I did receive the sexy MVP. Um, I have nothing but good to say about this device so far. Um, it's great. So far I'm at, oh you couldn't see it, I'm at 4.2 on it. But if I click this, that's how many puffs I've taken on it so far. And I guess at 999 it will reset itself. I am rocking the eye clear on it, the dual coil, which I love these things. I've got my Mandy's melons in here. So far, I like it. I've been vaping it since I got it yesterday. I haven't really charged it. And it's still going strong. There's only one little, one little problem I had with it. And there's this button on the bottom that when you set it on your desk, this button right here, you can kind of see it, it's not flat. So it makes the mod kind of like rock a little. It doesn't sit flat on a surface. But other than that, I've been carrying, I have not used my Pravari in two days, guys. What the hell? Well, um, that's good to know, truly. Um, so take my card off when I'm about to hit 999. Wow. Hey, Devin, welcome to the room. How do you, you know what? I don't even know how to reset it. Tell me how to reset it, truly. <laughs> That's a good tip. That's very good info to know. Do you hold the buttons down together? Oh, shut it off. Okay. But I do like it. It's a nice little sleek mod. You can see how it fits in my little, I have little stubby hands. And it fits nice in there. So I really like it. And I like the blue. I like the blue slate. Another thing that I acquired over the past week were the batteries that I needed for my rough stack to finally use the kick that uh, was given to me by uh, Red Rock Hiker. And, you know, I always had, I had some issues about the kick not owning it. My issues were I thought it was an expensive device. I didn't really understand what it was doing for the device. 
Um, I never thought I'd be vaping on my rough stack again, but I have been rocking this tonight as well with a kick in it. The kick works, guys. <laughs> <coughs> I am a believer now. It brought my rough stack back to life. Uh, I could vape it at a higher watt than the 3.7 voltage that it was set at. I, all I had to do was buy a shorter battery to fit in the rough stack. And then the little kick right here just fit right in top. Um, Lou talked me through how to use the dial on it. There's a little dial there to change the wattage. And you gotta really have, you might need glasses for some people because the numbers are really, really tiny. But so far, um, it's it's turned my rough stack into an awesome mod again. Nina, welcome to the room, and Jessica. <sighs> yeah, it really, I can use my rough stack again and vape where I wanna vape. The price on the kick is a little high, and you know, I I have to agree with that, and that's one reason why I never bought it, but this was given to me, and that's the only reason that I was able to bring my rough stack back to life, and I want to thank Lou for that, that was very nice. Jasmine, welcome to the room. You bet, Tammy, I would love to do that. Um, I'll get you in a hangout, and everybody will talk to you about it, um, especially to tell you how to use it and what it does. It was really nice. Lou, actually, I had to call him as soon as I got my batteries, and he talked me through it himself and shared some info with me. You know, some people have went out and bought a bolt or a rough stack just to use a kit. <laughs> Yeah, this is a non very volt mod. This is back in the day mod, mechanical. Uh, you can only vape at 3.7 on a rough stack with the 18650 battery. Um, so at 3.7, you know, the vapor is not as warm as I'd like it to be. I have to go up to at least 4.2 to get that little extra warm. And I can do that with the kick. It's a nice. Uh, very watt regulator for this mod. It works great. <clears throat> oh no, don't poof! Don't poof away! <laughs> so the rough stack, you know, I got this, um, originally I think this mod was 50 bucks. So it's a cheap device. So if you add a kick in it for another 50 bucks, you're looking at a hundred dollars device to regulate a mechanical mod. Or this is the kick was made for us old schoolers who had a bunch of these mechanical mods laying around still. Now you can pay 50 bucks and get an MVP that's already very volts. Um, you can get other devices. Uh, Tony was just talking that his grip that's coming out is going to be very watt. The Vamo does the same thing. So there you have it. The kick was mainly intended for us old schoolers who had silver bullets laying around, rough stacks, kind of thing. Kristen, welcome to the room. Chris, Christian, sorry. Welcome to the room and truly, welcome back. <laughs> so that's my awesome bait mail. Um, I love it. I love my MVP and I love that I can rock out my rough stack again. Yeah, it worked in the GGTs too. A lot of people had a bunch of those. <clears throat> Oh, the, the groove. Oh, oh, that might be a mod I'm going to talk about here in a few minutes. Devin, you got yourself a twist. Is this your first twist? Hey, the twist and the spinners. The spinners are the same thing as the twist, except um, a little fatter, and you can see the numbers at the bottom. But they work for 24 bucks. You got a very um, little, little ego in your hand. So, and this is what I loved about the rough stack. I can hold it like a cigar, like I do my Pravari, and my thumb hits the top of it. Perfect. It's perfect. I love it. I missed my rough stack. And then, you know, I was trying to figure out how I can hold the MVP. And I figured it out. Look, see, I can bait Mandy style with the MVP even. 
See that? Yeah, just rested on my fingers. Yeah. Finger on the button. <laughs> I'm weird about holding my mods like that. I've explained that before. <laughs> I don't want to look like I'm doing something else with my mods, so I vape a little different. <laughs> All right, without further ado, let's get into the next segment here, and then we're going to do a juice giveaway to break things up a little bit. Let me get this loaded back in here and take it out for a second. All right, so what we're going to talk about right now is what's new for the future of the e-cigs in 2013 so let's go ahead and get this rolling the future of e-cigs okay I was uh, browsing on Albania today and these were some of the things I came across um, this one looks really funky it's like a cut and a half flashlight Pravari with a lava tube cheap thing on it. Yeah. I I hope these don't hit the market because these kind of look funky. That's my personal opinion about that. <laughs> I just, I, I mainly grabbed it because I thought it was kind of retarded looking. <laughs> yeah, they kind of love child. <laughs> It is just, it's ugly. It's really, really ugly. Um, I really hope that our vendors don't pick this up. I don't know who would buy this. The GS Sub 2.0? Yeah. Not so much. And Tony's like, we won't carry those. Good. <laughs> it looks like a vibrator. It looks like something. I'm not sure it's a vibrator. Okay, so here's the other thing that is coming out, and um, it's the new PCCP, is this the right one? Here it is. Now this one kind of looks cool. It's got like a little cigarette picture on it. It kind of looks like a cell phone. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing this and testing this one out. It looks kind of neat. I hope it wouldn't have the fire issues that Hairball was talking about with the other device I am going to show. D-Wag, welcome to the room. He left the room. Stick'em can be a poo-poo head. You think it's ugly, Tony? I think it's kind of sleek. I think it's kind of cool. No? Ross didn't have this one. I am going to show you the one that Ross had, though. I don't know. It looks small, kind of like the MVP. Um, there's another picture of a different company that makes this one, but they're the same thing. I think it looks okay. I don't think it looks bad at all. I wonder if it lights up and stuff. It's got to have lights. It is very volt. Uh, 3 to 6 volt. 6, I think, I believe it's 6600 ma in this device. From what I was reading on the site, anyway. Air cleaner, and you can plug devices into it, kind of like the MVP, and transfer power from there to your cell phone, etc., kind of thing. It is kind of sleek for a boxy type thingy. I, I would agree with that. I think it would go. See, Jamie is thinking girly like me. That's why I liked it. It was sleek, it would slide right into a purse nice. If the police pulled you over and said, what is that? You'd be like, it's my phone. And you could start talking into it, and they would never know. Just kidding. <laughs> but you could. <laughs> Just take the top piece off. It's a phone. Who are you talking to? I don't know. They're not talking back. And then they'll just think you're crazy, and they'll leave you alone. The next one is the groove. Tony, is this the groove that you were speaking of? <laughs> this is kind of like um, a redo of the MVP, except they went kind of cheesy with like plastic and not metal. Um, that's the flaw that I see in this device. It should be metal or stainless steel or titanium or whatever you want to call it. I don't like that it's kind of plastic. 
Is that the one you were talking about, Tony? From Glory Vapes? <laughs> That's the one you're carrying? Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, that would look nice in your store. Um, is it plastic or dirling? <laughs> this is where I put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> Just giving my honest opinion. <laughs> it takes an ego and a 510. Okay, so that's the one Tony's going to be carrying. <laughs> I wonder why they didn't put titanium or metal on it. I bet the price is cheaper, though. It's got to be cheaper because they went cheaper on the design. Miss Big Rob, welcome to the room. That's my guess. <laughs> okay, so you're saying it's a decent device. Uh, you know, it's one of those things, I guess you got to buy it to try it. I just see myself breaking it. I've already dropped the MVP, and uh, so far it's been pretty sturdy. <laughs> Hopefully the uh, internals will overcome the outer shell. And that's what, uh, it sounds like that's what Tony's saying. Um, okay, you've thrown them around. Cool, cool. I want to see a video. I want to see a video on this when you get it, Tony. Um, what's the going price going to be for this? Very cool. They do their own quality damage control. Throw the shit around a little bit. Because <laughs> none of us here are fragile vapors. If you're a fragile vapor, raise your hand and put a one in the room. I'm not a fragile vapor. I knock shit over on my desk. It falls out of my pocket. It hits the floor. The kids knock it off. The dog's tail wagon comes by the table, knocks them out on the floor. I'm not a fragile vapor. <laughs> Between 70 and 80. So it's the mod, the charger. I drop, yeah, I drop shit all the time. Right, Devin, it's definitely for you because it's going to hit hard floor. Jamie, how is the Vamo holding up? Hey, Steve, if you're getting choppy, if anybody's getting choppy, sometimes it helps to freeze every side camera, and then you can hear the show. Uh, it takes a little bit away from your computer dragging on the flash drive. If you just freeze all the side cameras... So, okay, so here's the funny ones next. We're going to get into the funny mods. Um, I, I want to talk more about these because um, they're really funny. Um, this is, uh, <laughs> okay, the Bobo mod, I have to say, is freaking ridiculous looking. And the only person in this room that I could see using a Bobo mod would be Jay the Vaping Guy. But other than that, who is going to buy the Bobo mod? <laughs> It's uh, it looks like a, like a bowling pin. <laughs> Just vaping. See you later. <clears throat> Are you getting the bobo, Tony? So the Bob is a, a little different. Uh, we have the Z Max in here. We have the S Max. The T Max looks interesting. I have to say that one caught my eye, and it's red. I don't know where you can obtain the T Max, but that one definitely caught my eye. I like it. It's square. It's little. It's red. It looks kind of nice. I don't like the blue and the white on the S Max and the Bobo at all. <laughs> Yeah, it says T-Max above it, and it's very bold. And it says on here, on the site, I believe it's wattage, too, variable wattage. It's that red one right there. That's the T-Max. <laughs> Kelly, the TJ bag. <laughs> Cool. 
Oh, you're right. There is something underneath there. How to break a tank on the Orion. Drop a cylinder block on it. <laughs> if it don't break, don't try to break it. <laughs> and this one, this next item, uh, you've already seen. You've seen egos popping up with patterns and designs on them. Uh, these are kind of cool. They give your egos uh, a little more flair. I kind of like that. So you'll be seeing a lot of those. I've already seen some blingy ones popping up on sites, on various sites. I really like the pink one that's got like tiger print. But so that's kind of cool. It kind of personalizes your ego a little bit. And you can buy it just like that. Very well. It's better because you never have to adjust it. Yeah, that's that's what's cool about the the kick in the eat in the rough stack. Yeah, those are kind of cool, Tony. I like that. Now this next one is the one that you saw on Junkie Show. Um, I didn't realize there were issues with it. Hairball enlightened us on that. So I would be cautioned with this. Um, I know Electronic Six is going to be selling them, according to Junkie, because he gave one to Junkie to try. I don't know uh, what the difference in Hairball's co-op was with the ones Jason's getting, if they're a new version. Um, so far, Junkie hasn't experienced what they're experienced with the, the melting, the catching on fire. You know, those things aren't good. Is that a blood glucose meter? <laughs> I don't think so. It does say prepaid on it, apparently. <laughs> so they did look really nice, though. I mean, by looking at the pictures alone and seeing it in Junkie's hand, it kind of looked cool. But now I'm a little worried because of what Hairball said. So that's something I would definitely wait on. Uh, you know, I'm one of those persons that kind of hangs out and lets everybody else buy it first and tell me how it worked and go through the errors. I wait. I'm a cautious buyer most of the time unless I'm drinking in a hangout and I have a credit card. <laughs> then I buy everything. <sighs> Uh, this next one is the V hit. It's an atomizer drip tip together. Uh, it's called the uh, wait, yeah, the V hit atomizer. Um, that's all I know about it. I just saw it on Albania, so you might see this pop up somewhere. See, Junkie says it vapes nice. Oh, you are seeing what people have experienced. I don't think is it a herbal. It was on the e -cig thing. Can you you can put your weed in there? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> All right. So um, yeah, it's for spices. Anybody who uses spices. <laughs> All right, Jaeger. <laughs> uh, so anybody who uses spices, uh, this is kind of cool. There you go. <laughs> This is the CEO. It's kind of like, um, looks like a Lambo uh, that's white. I don't know. It doesn't look appealing to me, but, you know. <laughs> Dev's like, not for me. No spices for you. <laughs> it looks like crap. It does. It, it looks like pure crap. So, those were just some of the 2013 things that I saw that you might start seeing in the market pretty soon. So, uh, let's move on to our next segment. We're going to talk about copycat. Copycat. So, uh, what's new with... Uh, What's new in vaping? Well, there's a lot of things going on that I'm totally amazed and I, I just can't believe that how many items are being copied from China. Um, this is the smoke tech. Oh, you can't see it because of my name. There it is. This, you know, this is like based after the GG, the GG button. Um, so it's kind of like a copycat from China. Although I have to say the GGs look better. Just saying. I know it means the price is going to drop on items when China remakes them, of course. It always does. 
because we just can't produce these kind of things in the U.S. Um, at that cheap of a price. Our, our people, our Americans here work for money, not pennies. <laughs> they are. They are really stepping up their games. I don't know if you guys saw the Vape Team episode. I couldn't find that article. I don't know if they removed it. But Ali Albania website had was describing their ego colors as the grim green you can get this in grim green really uh i remember the one they had boss player vinny showing a mod on their website they're just stealing pictures for some things right frostbite i know people say that the, they think the z max um and that's the other one we're going to talk about in a minute oh that picture got in the wrong spot so there's the gg so you can tell the quality of that definitely looks better than that so that's our gg as you can see the initials gg on it the other one, here's the one, the, the VMAX that was conditioned to, to copy the Pravari. I know a lot of people say that they think the VMAX or the ZMAX hits better than the Pravari. Uh, after having the ZMAX, Sigali, and it breaking already, and me dropping this Pravari a hundred times already and nothing happening, I'm going to go with the Pravari. But, yep, there's another. Yes, I have that one, Jesse. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to get into that Stephen Kanawao. We're going to get to that, definitely. Um, yeah, they did. So, and then we've seen the telescope mod. Empire Mods made the original telescope mod. Um, I have held the telescope mod from Smoke Tech. It's really thin. It's really cheesy. Um, not my kind of device. But some people like that feature. But another copy made in China for a product that was made here. Um, the, the bolt. I believe the bolt was uh, copied off the silver bullet to be a cheap mechanical mod remade uh, to copy the silver bullets. So, and they keep going. Uh, they are now copying the GLVs. And I know you guys have seen the GLVs. Let me see, is this one? There's another copy of the GLV. Um, they are copying those now, so you'll see those. They copy the Thor hammer, the hammer of Thor. They made their own device for that. And, the, and they have even copied, and we've seen this, Cherry Vape Means. And it says at the top, if you can see it, Cherry Vape. They've copied the Means. Uh, and we've been seeing that everywhere. There's some more. But the one that really got me last night, and they even used the picture, they have copied the Cobalt Zen. That's right. They even used the same picture and took out the word Zen in the circle. It didn't take them long to do that one, but yes, there you have it, right there on the Alibaba site, the Cobalt Zen has been copied. Yeah, it's not going to look like that picture, Jesse, I agree with that, but they did steal the picture. <laughs> I don't know what theirs is going to look like, but they did steal the picture, and this was another one they had right by it, the black one. Yeah. I, I hope that this picture comes down soon because they, they literally stole the picture and just put it up there. Like they've done with Grim Green's name and they've stole a picture of Boss Player Vinny. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I'm sure the price is going to be lower than what you can pay for it here. Junkie. I, I, I want to see Junkie's comparison to a Zen and copycat. China mod. I just, I would love to see that video because I know it would be interesting. Oh, and there's my, there's a cherry vape thing. And there's a Pravari, and that's the one that looked like the Z Max. Same design as the Z Max. So there you go. Um, 
we were talking last night too in a hangout that it would be kind of cool if everyone started hyping up about a mod that doesn't exist and make a fake picture of it and see how soon it ends up on Alibaba for sale. Just a fake mod we make up. I think Troop had that idea and it was awesome. <laughs> And have vendors even posted on their site the Duo Max, the Poopy Mod, <laughs> and everybody rave about it. And just be like, oh, I can't wait to get one because they watch us. They watch us on Facebook, they watch the forums, they watch Google, and they watch what's trending and they steal it. <laughs> I know, they photoshopped the Zen part off. 